Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna work on this cute diagonal cow print tumbler. We're going to start out with a prepped and white spray painted tumbler. I'm mixing about 15 milliliters into 60 milliliters of epoxy. It's about a one to four ratio. This will vary depending on what type of epoxy you're using, what the viscosity is, but I usually use about a one to four ratio. Um, you don't wanna to mix too much glitter because it will come out lumpy, but then you also don't wanna mix in too much epoxy because then you'll have empty or blank streaks in your epoxy um, that don't have any glitter on them. So just play around with it. I would say start out with less Kind of gauge if you need to add more you can always add more you can't take it away unless you mix a new batch of epoxy I forgot to mention this, but I used Bright from Peachy Olive Glitters mixed into my epoxy. As usual, I will have all of the products linked in the description, but I forgot to tell you guys, so here I am telling you. <laughs> Once you get your mixture applied to your tumbler, it is going to look a little bit streaky, so don't be too concerned as long as your mixture and your ratio is correct and you're hitting it with your heat gun or your torch, it will come out completely smooth. I let that cure and then after this one coat, I'm going to add this painter's tape and I don't follow any sort of a template. I just kind of lay my painter's tape diagonally, making sure when I'm laying my second and third piece of painter's tape that I'm lining it or butting it right up to that first piece just to ensure that the curve of the painter's tape is consistent on both sides. If you're not following directly along that seam, your one of your curves is going to be kind of a steeper angle than the other one and it's not going to look right. After the tape is laid down how I want it, I'm going to put this on my cup edging tool and I'm going to trim the bottom tape. And this is going to form a straight line once you apply your second glitter for the other half of the split tumbler you're going to have a super smooth or straight line um, directly along the bottom where you don't have to do any sort of vinyl work to cover that um, glitter seam if you've ever had to put vinyl work along the edge of your tumbler you know that it tends to lift under epoxy so ensuring that you have a completely smooth line between your two glitters is just going to lessen the steps that you have to take. You won't have to put any sort of vinyl work at the bottom and potentially have it lift on you, causing extra, extra coats of epoxy. Next, I'm going to put a thin coat of epoxy over the exposed glitter portion of the tumbler. I'm gonna keep that tape on there. And I'm mixing about a two to one ratio of Audrey to a little bit of mint chip from Peachy Olive Glitters. I just wanted a little bit more of that mint color mixed into it as opposed to kind of a light Tiffany blue color. Um, so I mixed that up and applied that to my tumbler. I made sure to pat down that glitter. It is a little bit of like a medium chunky mix. And we've already got a coat of epoxy on the tumbler so i wanted to avoid having to do any extra coats because i didn't want it to be super thick at the end of the design so just make sure you're patting that glitter down before you're peeling that tape or if you're like me after you're peeling that tape i always forget 
Um, and then we're gonna let that cure, and I did make sure to put a coat of glitter glue over top of the mint portion of the glitter once the epoxy was cured, just so we don't get any sort of spillage into the white color once we put our next coat of epoxy on. Somehow I didn't record the footage or lost the footage when I was applying these cow spots. So once I had the glitter glue applied over my mint glitter and that was completely dry, I went in and cut out an 11 and a half by 11 and a half sheet of vinyl with these cow spots on it. And I just hand placed them. I didn't use any sort of transfer tape or anything like that. And I didn't want to risk lifting up the raw mint glitter that was on the other portion of this tumbler. I then went in with two coats of epoxy and I made sure to sand between the first and second coats. Since we're working with a chrome vinyl this time instead of a textured metallic vinyl, any sort of bumps or air bubbles or anything like that are going to show underneath that vinyl work. For the chrome stripes, I cut them out at 11 and a half width by 0 0.10 height. And this was a custom order, so I did this in three sizes. So for the 30 ounce skinny, I cut the name out at six inches. For the 20 ounce skinny, I cut it out at five inches. And then for the little kids um, sippy cup, I cut it out at four inches. And normally I wouldn't put a coat of polycrylic over top of just like plain colored or black vinyl because it doesn't tend to lift most of the time unless you're using some sort of like an intricate script font. Um, but because I was already putting polycrylic over top of those chrome stripes to prevent lifting, I just swiped it over top of the black names as well. I let that polycrylic air dry because it's chrome and heat tends to cause vinyl to bubble up. I just let it air dry for about 30 minutes on its own. And then I went in with two final coats of epoxy. On my final coat of epoxy, I mixed in some ultra fine silver holographic epoxy additive to um, my last coat of epoxy. That is from Chase Ray. I will link that for you guys as well, just to give the um, cow spots a little bit of depth. And after the two final coats, this cup was done. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments and go ahead and like and subscribe. I am still doing my giveaway in my Mitten Makers group for my Peachy Olive Glitters collab box. So if you guys would like to join in and have a chance at winning that collab box, I will link that for you guys as well. And I will see you guys next weekend.